Well, many of you uh, know that uh, CRM already fell uh, 20% lah, give or take lah, today. And uh, here we are, we are trying to calculate the uh, free cash flow of uh, CRM lah. Okay. Now what I like about CRM is that the KPEX is very small lah. Okay. So this is the OCF for the last four quarters lah including the latest quarter and then we minus about 800 lah give or take so it's about 11.2 billion lah the 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 free cash flow okay so 211.74 uh, divided by 11.2 billion is about 18.9 lah give or take lah, uh, assuming uh, there is no uh, increase of cash flow for the second and third and fourth quarter lah. so we are assuming no growth okay oh damn this coffee is not bad so is this a buy or not okay uh, we are looking at about 18.9 uh, free cash flow price to free cash flow lah. so Usually, uh, looking we look at the balance sheet, then we look at it. The total current asset twenty nine. Yes, more uh, total current asset and liabilities. Well, yes, some liabilities, but it's not say very fatal or anything, lah. Right. So thirteen point five. Um, what we want to do is we check the free cash flow just now was how much eleven point two for the year. Well, it can pay back itself in two years. So this is not stellar balance sheet, but it's okay lah. Okay, it has a debt of two years of free cash that can be paid uh, in about two, two, two years plus uh, of free cash flow. I wouldn't say it's like it's in danger or anything lah. Okay, uh, what do I think about this? Well, this one I can tell you that uh, the SBC is quite high lah. I would say the SBC is quite high. Okay, for this guy, I think the SBC is quite high. What do I think of this guy? Uh? Actually, this guy, uh, if he can keep growing the cash flow, right? So, I think there's a lot of, a bit of people mistaken here. The OCF, uh, he grew by 39%. Year on year. 39% year on year and people still don't think that's enough. I, I don't know what you all think it is. Okay. Well, if you minus out this one, of course, you get about 3,247. But this one, if you minus out the uh, adjustments to working capital, also you get about 2,150, right? Roughly there. So it's still a very amazing growth in the operating free cash flow. So if we can retain that momentum in the growth, I think this stock is okay lah. It's cheap lah, I would say even. Okay. At about 18.9. And you know, it's quite hot, right? It's quite famous. Uh. Everybody talks about Salesforce, Salesforce, Salesforce. Um, the problem with buying this is if it fails to grow or maintain the growth, of course, it's going to be sold down lah. Okay. So I'm initiating a buy on this lah, okay? Because uh, it's 18.9, okay? Now, uh, this is not like China stocks lah. China stocks are, you know, uh, we are kind of used to the Chinese stocks, right? Like uh, 12, price to FCF, 13, 12, 13, 10, 8, 7, this we get spoiled by the Chinese stocks lah. So this is American, uh, famous, um, American and famous, and you know it's quite uh iconic name lah. Salesforce, okay. Woke up early in the morning, uh, about 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 four thirty, uh. okay. Then cannot sleep really. So uh, look at Salesforce. Then saw the price. I think eighteen. Then look at the look at the growth for an American company. This is not bad lah. I would say. 
for American company, I would say this is not bad lah. I mean, 19, 15 to 20 F price to FCF for American company is already not bad lah. Especially if it gives a growth for 10 percent ah. Uh, give or take is about 10% bottom line and then top line uh. so I think this is not bad really la. okay so I consider this a buy okay uh, next uh, VFC uh. there is some news for VFC you know the product chief uh, from Lululemon uh, actually moved to VFC you know Okay, I own some I own uh, some VFC. Uh. Lucky I got boosted up by this guy. So I think I got two lucky boosts today. First is the VFC. Second one is the HPQ. HPQ that time I bought because uh they got servers, right? Okay. Well, I went up by 16, 17%. I bought this at about $30. Jose. Uh. Okay. Not bad lah. $30. So this one I bought is because I, I figured they have servers lah. Okay. Servers are gonna sell well because of super micro, everybody rushing to get the AI thing. So yeah, I guess uh demand is demand la huh? okay. So yeah, thirty seven dollars. Uh I have to recalculate the whole thing again. Should I sell now or what? I also don't know. But if you think about it, uh, Guys, the PE is not say like super high or amazing. It's not like say it's the end of the world. Oh shit, it's overpriced. No la. It's about eleven. La. It's not even priced for growth. La. Okay. So if this guy can start growing uh, using the uh, server, uh, the AI server as a as a as a tool, uh, uh, then not bad. Okay. So San Choi moved to VFC la, to hit the fans brand. Uh this one we did the analysis before you all take a look at it by yourself. Um, if you don't, if you really want me to do it again, I will do it again. But it's kind of repetitive, lah. So this is a recovery stock, lah. Okay, recovery stock. Take a look at it. Uh, if these comms uh, are proven to be right, uh, then this is worth a lot more than what is priced now, lah. Okay. So I'm just telling you, lah. If, uh, if okay if okay if it's not proven to be right then i don't know lah okay but i don't think it's gonna be that easy for them to like uh uh switch the thing lah, okay but they have been mismanaged for a long time so this is actually a dividend aristocrat but a fake one lah. so whenever they don't have enough cash flow they still give out the dividend whenever they don't have enough cash flow they still give out the dividend lah. You know, I don't really like those kind of guys uh, who who don't have enough cash flow but don't, but don't want to cut the dividend. Uh, that was the, I despise this kind of management. I despise. Okay? It's a despise. Okay? I stay away from them usually, this kind of management. I consider them like semi-fraud like that. Uh, okay? I, 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 I'm not going to touch this kind of stuff. So, uh... Well, Viva Systems came down. Uh. Viva Systems, I sold already. Uh, because I don't know what it does until now. Okay? So apparently, it's supposed to do the thing. Then it came down. Uh. Maybe you can buy uh, already, I think. If it really came down, maybe you can buy. Uh. Maybe you can start buying again, uh, Viva. Uh. You buy, then after it goes up again, then you sell. Because I don't know what it does. But I think if the thing drops like uh, that, maybe you can buy. Uh. Right. Uh, Viva, yeah. I might cover this later, lah. Okay, but I'm gonna enter a speculative buy later upon this. Okay. Why am I entering as a speculative buy? Well, when it's speculative, means I just look at the price action, uh, and I see the thing, and I see, eh, it's going sideways, uh. Okay, so what do you notice about this <laughs> Viva thing? It's a bit obvious, lah, but I, I think you should be able to notice it also. It's quite sideways, right? Notice, not? 
it goes up it goes down 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 okay so it has been sideways uh, for a while uh, ever since 2022 okay so now it's sideways now the price is 175.74 it's somewhere here so it's at the bottom rung it's at the bottom half actually at the bottom 25th uh, quartile or percentile or whatever you want to call it so this is a decent point uh, to start a buy okay of course ideally you want to start the buy somewhere 163 la, but i think this is quite close already so this as a trading uh, tool uh, uh, can start buying already then later it goes up here then you start selling okay or maybe even here you can start selling already like it goes up here can start selling so this is a trade la. this is not really a whatever the 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 shit it is okay it's a trade la. don't get mistaken la. wow So CRM is a buy, but I think it's a speculative. I think it's a speculative uh, beginning position, uh, Beginning position, uh, For me, lah. Uh, okay. Hang Seng Index. Okay. So today I'm gonna cover all, uh, all of it at one time because now it's five thirty six, uh, My wife is still sleeping, so she won't disturb me. The moment my wife wake up, really, uh, she's gonna call me, shout and shout and shout always. Ask me to do errands, uh, send the kids to school, uh, Blah 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 blah. I mean, it's not like she work, you know. I have to send the kids to school somehow. Ah, I have to make money, send the kids to school, sometimes cook also. Headache. Ah. So, Hang Seng Index, ah, this is normal. Ah. A lot of people got, it's like, it's like what's cat, lah, doing this and that. So, if you look at Hang Seng Index, ah, I'm going to take out uh, these... Uh, this uh what the what the hell call that oh shit they were not meant to be taken out sorry what's meant to be taken out is a thing so what do you see here hang seng index is going up you like a channel like that right at first it's going up in here this channel and then you notice that eh there's this aberrations uh, sometimes it goes down lower sometimes it goes down higher goes up higher okay so, but most of the time it will stay in the middle uh. So from here, we can guess that Hang Seng Index is going to keep falling down until somewhere here. Guess lah, huh? guess. So technical is always guess. Okay. So we think that this is going to be a nice support for Hang Seng. About 17,750. About 18,000 lah. Okay. It's going to be a nice support. This is the first support for Hang Seng. The second one would be 17,200 roughly. Okay. So, I wouldn't worry lah. Oh, I wouldn't be like, wow, I, I, it's the end of the world. It's like that. A lot of people is asking me, wow, Robert, how ah? Da idea ah? Wow, Hang Seng ah? Da idea, da idea. Okay. So, I, I, I don't think so. In fact, ah, I mean, the market always go up and then go down. Go up, go down, right? I then could call it wave up, wave down. Wave up, wave down, right? But uh, for me, I, 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 I just use the channel and I take a look at the channel. I analyze it. So it's easier to look at it in a channel sense. Uh, in the sense of the channel, it's easier to understand. Okay. For me, that's, that's the way it is. For some people, they want to do the wave up, wave down and all that stuff. But I use the channel and say, oh, okay, more or less follow the channel. Uh. More or less, uh, okay. We can see the guideline. Right. So what what is wrong and when when would the... When would I say that? Oh shit, we are fucked, right? That is, I mean, that is that is that is like 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 that is like really the 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 say that oh shit, we are screwed. It's like it's not going up anymore. The the uptrend is gone. Okay, so we look at the fifty MA and one hundred fifty MA. The fifty MA is above the one hundred fifty MA. My fifty MA is always black, huh? My one hundred fifty MA is always green. Okay, it's standardized. Okay. Uh, so what does that mean? Uh? Is in an uptrend and very powerful uptrend because both is uh, sloping up lah in a sense. Hey, one is flat though. Yeah, one is flat lah. One is flat. Still, this is considered still an uptrend, but it's not a very powerful uptrend. Okay. Now this is normal lah. 
it's normal for this to come down and then later go back up again. So I think I wouldn't care. Lah. Now, when would I be scared? So remember one of the things you need to make uh, that one is a lower high. I mean, to make an up uptrend is what? Higher highs, higher peaks, right? So far, the peak is higher than before. This is the previous peak, right? This is the uh, this is the previous previous peak. This is the previous peak. Uh. The latest peak is here. This is the previous peak. That is the previous low here. So if it goes down below here, okay, I would say that we are somewhat screwed. Uh. So I'm going to draw that line as usual. Okay, the line that is a red line. That means, means that, oh, this is time for us to run away. Uh. So this thing has to come down below here. Okay, so for me, uh, there are two, uh, you know, just now I said two support points that I find is important, right? Number one, I would say this is a, if it breaches here, it's an alarm, but I wouldn't be surprised because this is a false breakout, it should be stronger. What I'm scared of is here, you know, if it breaks out here and it touches here and not only is it another one, if it goes into this one, it goes into the downdraft again. And then touches here. Uh, so, if it's me, la, if it breaches here, I would be a bit uh, scared. La, okay? uh, scared la. So, I would put uh, this one. This is the first alarm. Second alarm, if it breaches here. Okay? Now, I already sold a lot of my uh, Hang Seng, AIA, and all those. La. Okay? It may not seem a bit logical to you lah but i use josh tan as my uh indicator i would call it right this he's called like some sort of a reverse indicator lah. okay because he has been quite accurate in predicting uh the disasters or the the stocks that are going to momentarily fall down okay so i believe that you know the stocks are going to momentarily fall down but what is a, a bit a bit a bit uh, sad though is that uh, Josh Tan also make video on MPEG, CICT and the uh, other stuff man. Wow, very sad man. I also own them. I'm not selling out of MPEG uh, because it's just too cheap for me. And also I I I'm I'm just putting my money there to let it gain dividends. So I I don't care lah. Okay. I'm not selling my MPEG, I'm not selling my CICT, I'm not selling the thing. I'm just putting it there, leave it there, relax. Uh, okay. Wow, so, yeah, getting quite hungry. Let's go and cook some uh, oatmeal. Uh, yeah. Don't expect your wife to cook for you. Uh. You must know how to cook by yourself. Uh. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I guess this line lah. If it breaches this line lah, then I think it's bye bye, di lah. Hang Seng Index. I think the better ground is in Hang Seng Index lah. I don't think it's in Hang Seng Tech. Hang Seng Tech like never fall like that. I I never see it like, I never see it fall a lot. So I don't think the battle is being fought here lah. In fact, I think Hang Seng Tech is more resilient lah. Huh? I look at Hang Seng Tech is more resilient compared to that one. But that is, is slowly coming down low. It's slowly coming down low. And it's making some sort of a head and shoulders pattern. Uh, but the pattern not really clear. Leh. Okay. See how it goes. Lah, this one. This one is see how it goes. Uh, yeah, I'm, 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 actually, I'm actually quite afraid if it goes sideways. Lah. Okay. So this one, I don't see a cause for alarm. Lah. Instead, I think this might rebound soon, uh, Hang Seng Tech. So two points. First point is here. Second point would be here. Right. So 50MA and 150MA are supports also. So this one, I think 7.6 can buy lah, for me, I think. Uh, 7.6, you can buy this. Lah. Okay. Now, what is the uh, point of alarm here? Well, the point of alarm is, where's the previous low? So, again, we go back here, we do the same thing again. Where's the previous low? This is the 
previous low is here right so if it breaches here you gotta be scared so if it breaches 6.8 uh, 6.8 uh, you 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 might want to run away la. okay okay you might want to say ah yeah shit we are screwed okay um uh, do i think it's gonna go there no why am i so sure i think the chinese government uh, is really taking a proactive role on this la. so i don't think they are gonna do it you know <coughs> then also now with the hong kong connect right so it's not so bad la, i would say so I think you all need to uh, relax a bit lah. No need to be so uh, that one lah. In fact, if you ask me ah, hey, I'm quite surprised. You know, this one seems stronger. You know, the 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 Hang Seng Tech ah, seems a bit stronger than that one. This one seems to be a bit more solid. Okay. So sometimes it's useful to analyze things using the 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 the, the channel lah. It's better to analyze using the channel. If you analyze using the FIBO sometimes, FIBO also, you see, just nice, uh, the FIBO ngam ngam ho is down there, right? If it breaches 7.55, uh, uh, then we are in danger, right? This is how you use FIBO. You take from the lowest point, then the highest point. Oh, if it breaches here, then we are in danger. Then most likely it's going to come back down here, okay? So it's about the same. Uh, whenever it breaches this past this uh, channel, uh, then uh, that is the danger point, okay? That is where you should be careful. So, uh, if you ask me, Hang Seng Tech can buy, no? I think Hang Seng Tech now can buy lah. Slowly, you know, if it goes down another one percent today or half percent, I'm gonna buy, man. I'm gonna start buying in. Okay, one percent or half percent, I'm gonna start buying in. Okay. Uh. Yeah. So, uh, Baba. Holy shit, oh, suddenly my Baba here becomes so thick. Sometimes it's like that, I don't know why. <coughs> now, Baba has a golden cross here. You notice not? Okay. But it's not so golden uh, because it's flat. Okay. It's flat, right? It's flat. You see, though? It's flat. Okay. Now, what do we aim? What are we aiming for here? Any ideas or not? You all? Here, yeah, shoulders, right? Okay. So yesterday, I already calculate for you all. Uh, thirty-three shares, uh, roughly. You what? Thirty-three to thirty-six. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, for a hundred dollar uh, loss, uh, right? Stock loss about seventy-five fifty, right? Okay. Yeah. So I'm still there, lah, uh, inside the trade, lah. Uh, I I'm not out of the trade yet. Okay. So the trade is still there, lah. Uh. Seventy five fifty, yeah, I think yeah, it has to be below the fifty and the hundred fifty that one. So it's a stronger support lah. Seventy five fifty or uh seventy five fifty lah. So this one I I again uh, I I don't recommend you putting a lot uh, on this trade. You know why not? Because you can gap down a lot, you know. Here. Because how do I say this? Uh? Because on uh, the the <laughs> this trades twenty four almost twenty four hours, right? Hong Kong market and uh, U.S. market. Okay, so when you go to the Hong Kong market, what if it gaps go down a lot on on the bad news, right? Let's say it go down to seventy dollars. Okay, I but you already put seventy five fifty in your uh, U.S.A. market. But eh, USA market it will open, it will get down, right? It won't open seventy five fifty. It will open seventy one or seventy two around there. So you're gonna lose more than that one. So I suggest ah uh, for this one ah, uh, let's say you usually bet two percent uh, of your uh total trading portfolio, total trading portfolio ah, uh, not your total portfolio ah, uh, okay. This is how you play trading. Uh. You have a trading portfolio, let's say 10,000 or 20,000. You bet, if for the pro, you bet 2%. Right? That is your max loss. Okay? The risk to reward is usually 1.5 to 2, la, from what I, I know. And uh, I don't really trade a lot, la, so I, 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 I'm not really that brave anymore. Last time I trade a lot. <laughs> Last time I trade a lot. I've been playing this ever since I was in uh, 
college, college, you know, not junior college, college in USA. <laughs> I've been playing all these ever since I was in college in USA. Last time we used this thing called Scott Trade. <laughs> $14 per trade, you know, sometimes $12 per trade. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. Uh, just be careful of, uh, they, call it, they don't call it slippage, they call it gap downs. Uh, okay. When you open it, gaps down in the thing because of developments in the Hong Kong market. Uh, okay. So please be careful of this. I'm still inside the trade. I think it's still gonna go up. So usually during a cup and handle, if you want to be safe, talk with the cup low, right? It ninety dollars oh, two so quite oh, pass a two lah, pass a two. Then the next one you just uh, the next level could be here, you know, ninety three point six three lah, ninety four lah. Okay, roughly ah, I'm gonna give you the points. Then the next one is here lor, somewhere here it's about ninety six. Then the next one of course is hundred dollars ah. Right, those three points enough already. But if it's if if it's a it's a true cup and handle, uh, it's gonna soar higher than the cup height, uh. So most like it could be here, you know, nine hundred dollar. If it's true cup and handle, uh, okay, hundred dollars, uh. Well, if it is true, ah, uh, Jose, uh, we all make money, uh. Okay. But then, yeah, this is a trade, lah. Uh. Nobody knows what's gonna happen. <laughs> Another one that I've been buying is Veil. Okay, so Veil, I'm buying this because uh, copper recently went up, right? Uh, I haven't really studied the fundamentals of Veil. Honestly speaking, I, 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 I shouldn't do that, but yeah. Okay, so I'm buying Veil as a hedge to inflation, la, to metal inflation. La, okay, that's why I buy Veil for. Uh, Veil, I look at it, I think it's somewhat sideways. I think got chance to go up low somewhere, maybe fifteen dollars. Then I'm gonna exit. So it's more of a trade lah. Plus inflation hedge lah. Okay. Uh, one that I'm buying is HPQ lah. HPQ, I already told you all. Why did I buy this? I think it's cheap lah. I I I I I think it's cheap lah. I remember. Okay. Uh. Warren Buffet sold it. Okay, Warren Buffet sold it. I think even now, uh, after the price go up, uh, the PE ratio is only 11. Uh, so I bought this at about 9 PE. I remember I bought this about 30 PE. Uh, 20, 30, uh, $30 I bought this. Okay. Uh, 37. I don't know what to, how to price this properly. <laughs> because even at 11 PE, it seems quite cheap. Okay. I think I recommended this in the channel before, but... Uh, uh yeah a lot of people don't really like uh hpq they think it's outdated lah. so the reason for me buying hpq is very simple it's not really uh something uh very rocket sciencey or anything lah. it's just because of ai right they make servers lah. so i think there's gonna be some demand on the server side lah. that's why i bought this <sighs> So looking at this, uh, actually is the operating income, I would say, they managed to increase the margins. Uh. Not bad. Uh. They managed to increase the margins. Yeah, this is not bad. They managed to increase the margins, but they are not really performing very well uh, when I look at it. So sometimes you ask, hey Robert, why this one like that? Nah? This one, hey, this one got income tax benefit here. You better take a look. See properly first. Right. Income tax benefit every every day. No, right? Okay. So usually you take operating income. Lah. That is what you want to take. You minus out the interest expense. Then you get pre-tax income. Okay. This is what you usually use. Understand, not y'all? So it's about nine. I would say this guy is not bad. Lah. It's, it's doing quite decently because uh, the numbers improve. Uh. Okay, so this is an improvement. If they can keep improving like this, of course it's good. Lah. Okay. Uh, I don't know why it go up. Uh. Did, is, is, did, the, did the outlook improve? No? Uh, that's why I'm a bit surprised, you know. 
I think the outlook improve. Uh, that's why. It went up quite significantly. Before it already go up, it was thirty dollars before. I bought it about thirty thirty. I bought it about thirty dollars twenty nine twenty nine thirty dollars. I voiced it in the channel, everybody say, ah yeah, HP dinosaur la Robert. It's like IBM like that, very really old. Right. One 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 say, ah yeah, Warren Buffet last time buy ah. this is a die dying business la die idea this one. I remember somebody said that. That's why he sold it. Uh, he died in this one. Like, okay, okay, okay. But it's cheap. It's cheap. You cannot beat cheap. Remember that. Uh? <laughs> cheap is cheap. You cannot beat cheap. Okay. So I got lucky. Uh, huh? I got lucky with my uh, HP purchase. I already said uh, cheap is cheap. Uh, you cannot beat cheap. This one, I think the next one got potential to turn around. Uh, BFC. Yeah. PFC, I think, got potential to turn around. Uh, but it's, it's a turn around. Uh. Turn arounds are usually very dangerous. Uh. Okay. Because to turn around, it has to be in a shitty place first, right? So this one is in a shitty place already. Uh. So to turn this around, uh, they really have to do a lot of uh, powerful stuff and all that. They have to lay off a lot of people and, you know, they, they should stop the dividends, uh, actually. BFC because the owners is a family, a family. Uh, the owner is a family type. Uh, they prioritize the dividend more, uh, So I think this is what's causing the company to suffer a lot. Okay. How do I say this? Huh? When the owner is a majority or family, uh, a lot of times they interfere with the decisions of the CEO and the directors. Uh. So what happened uh, uh, if they interfere? This is like the art of war. Uh, Sun Tzu said that you know the king cannot uh, involve himself too much with the general. Cannot order the general to do this, order the general to do that. Uh. Because the general should have the rights uh, to do uh, whatever he deems is right. So he needs to have autonomy, uh, the general. Okay. Now, uh, for these kind of companies, uh, the CEO, the directors, they don't have autonomy. The owners will be there hounding them. Okay. The majority shareholders, uh, the owners. Uh, okay. So that's why sometimes eh, when I see what well, I got majority shareholder, I'm a bit hesitant. Uh. 